Feel the empowerment of coming together and training our hearts. Even on Zoom, we can feel this. We can feel sweetness of entering the room and honoring the other people in the room. And, and physically, our hearts come into the same rhythm and the same beat. And we haven't experimented <laughs> to see if that happens on Zoom. We're hopeful that it does. And uh, we do feel a little different after this entrainment drumming experience that we share. So um, welcome all the new people who are, who are coming in just now. And um, let me go to our gallery. Brent, nice to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us to sing this women's hands song with us. Hey, Amanda, this is the one we're learning today. And Jean, happy to see everybody. Have a chance to say hello to everybody. And uh, let's take a little time. Let's just go around the room real quick and uh, call in our river basin. And if you want to, the original inhabitants of the land you're on, our ancestors, the river basin you were born in, whatever feels right for you. I'll lead by example. Leah Huesque, Dancing Heron, Dances with Death, Call Me Gail, in Wayumi Ganaita. My river basin is the long man in Takiosti, where they race the canoes. And his head is on the mountain and his feet are in the sea. And that's our sacred mountain. Um, the oldest mountain on Turtle Island. And her name is Adigul, which means helping many people. And we are the people who resisted both removal on the Trail of Tears and the reservation the federal government calls Cherokee. We resisted by hiding in these mountains. And they continue to support us inappropriate resistance and so i will um, ask erica if she would like to presence herself in this way good morning it's so good to be home i am here present at the salish sea bioregion Cascadia Bioregion in Olympia, Washington. I am of Cherokee and European ancestry. And with that, I'm going to pass to whoever would like to go next. Since I am not on gallery view. <laughs> Thank you, sister. I will pick up the feather. This is Shonda. I am with the Earth Mother Network. My ceremonial name is She Who Weaves. I am in the High Plains grasslands of West Central Texas, which is fed by the uh, Upper Colorado River Basin on the traditional lands of the Tigua, the Kikapu, and the Lapanapachi. And I will pass the feather to Lisa Shepard. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. It's so lovely to be here. My name is Lisa Shepard, and I reside here in Southern Oregon at the tip top of the Williamson River watershed. Lands of the, the Klamath, Modoc, and Yahuskin tribes make up the Klamath tribes north of the Klamath Basin. I'm not sure of my ancestral lineage. Um, but I sure am grateful to get to be here. And with that, I'll, I'll pass it on. Ursula? Hello, uh, my name is Ursula, and um, I'm living on the ancient lands of the Celts and um, the river basin that is the closest to my place is the Atlantic Ocean. That I complete. Pass the feather, sister. 
Yes, I pass the feather to Amanda. Uh, hi, my name is Amanda. I'm in the UK in West Sussex, beautiful South Downs surrounding me. And my nearest river is the River Arran, leading down to the ocean. And with that, I am complete. And I pass the feather on to Jean. Hello, I am Jean Savizero coming to you from the east coast of Massachusetts, Boston specifically, living in the town of Brookline. Um, I walk off in the muddy river and it enthralls me and I get to use it as my muse very often. But the larger river further to the north of us is the Charles River, which traverses into the Atlantic Ocean through Boston Harbor. And um, there's a lot, a lot of beauty in this here city. And it constantly settles into me deeper. And with that, I shall pass the feather to Stephanie. Thank you. Um, I'm Stephanie. I'm on the Great Lake, Michigan, on the southwestern shore, on a tributary of the Chicago River. And this is the land of the Council of the Three Fires, which included the Ojibwe, the Potawatomi, and the Ottawa, but also um, the Ho-Chunk people, the Menominee people, and the Sac Fox people lived here. And I'm so glad to be here. Thanks. Great. Thank you. And I will pass the feather to, to let's say, uh, Tim. Have you spoken, shared, Tim? Hi, I'm Tim. Um, I'm in the UK. Um, I'm near the River Bourne, uh, near Bournemouth, uh, which is in Dorset, the south of England. Uh, the land of the Celts, um, my ancestry is Celtic and Danish or Viking. Um, I, yeah, and I'm so glad to be here and so grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pick up and pass the feather for you to- Yes, uh, please. To Jilly Iktara. Oh, we can't hear you. Greetings, everybody. Um, my tribe named me Ekaraha, my medicine teacher. Um, I'm at the Amalia Mila River, called Mill River. And this is Lenape territory that I'm on now. So I'm Taino. So I always respect the Lenape. And then I sing my song. Nice to see everybody again. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Would you like to pass it to your friend? Yes, Machali. Here's a feather. Thank you. I believe we may have lost her. Well, I still see the iPhone. No, I see her. Yeah. She's iPhone 89. That's Michelle. Okay, can you turn your camera on, please? She did just a minute ago. If we need to give you a little more time, Michelle, we can go on to someone and come back to you. Hello, hello. There no, she is. Yeah, we hear you. There. Hi, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I, 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 I felt like I lost the screen in front of me, and then I was trying to look at it, all nervous, and of course I can't find it right away. But yes. So um. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I'm near the. Um, the um, Silver Mine River and in Mohegas uh, land in Norwalk, Connecticut. And my name is Machali. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. And I'll pass the feather to my friend Brent. Thank you. Thank you and welcome all. I am Brent B. Mathieu. I am a French Saxon, a Celtic, Anglo-Saxon, 
Northern European ancestry, as well as the indigenous people. I am a distant relative of the Shoshone, whose land I dwell upon. Um, I am on what is called the Boise River, the river of Les Bois, the woods, the cottonwoods on the Snake River high plains that drain into the Columbia, which drains into the Pacific. I'm in Boise, Idaho. The first people, the Shoshone, the Paiute, and the Bannock rendezvous in this valley where I now live. It was a place of prosperity and trade and celebration, reunions, where the water was abundant and pure, and the sockeye salmon would spawn and turn the river red. I'm about to be interrupted by a dog. Hello. Hello, I'm online. Welcome. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm of indigenous ancestry, according to um, family legend. Thank you, girl. Uh, Thank you, girl. Some distant cousins at a family reunion told me that my grandfather, Frank Matthew, um, was of indigenous ancestry from his French Canadian roots. And other than that, as you can see, I appear to be mostly Northern European. <laughs> um, and my one of my spirit names, I have many spirit names, but one is Green Oak Walking. I am a nature a guardian of the nature as a green man who guards and protects and reveals the mysteries of mother nature. And with that, I am complete. Uh, who has not yet been uh, received the feather? Sister Dana. Well, Dana, then the feather is yours. Thank, Thank you. you brother. Hi, aloha. I'm Dana. I am currently in Henderson, Nevada, near Las Vegas. Um, the nearest major body of water here is Lake Mead, although my home on Earth is really the ocean. And um, my ancestry is actually I'm half Italian and half Russian, Polish, Jewish. But on a soul level, I actually feel more Polynesian slash Lemurian. So uh, thank you all. Welcome. Yes, thank you all for being here and sharing song, songs that come to me in the dream world. The one we're going to share today is Taste from Women's Hands. And I just put the link in the chat for you, and I put the lyrics in the chat after the link, and we're going to all sing together. First, um, I would like to ask Shonda if she can play that YouTube video for us and the uh, original recording that we released has the Taino drum from a friend of mine who is also a friend of Jilly's and just want to honor that Taino drum and in her presence here with us today if Shonda Thanks. can can play that uh, video for us and we're going to all sing together and you can see the lyrics in the chat as you listen and we'll just keep singing until we all get it they Thank you. 
Shonda. I express my gratitude at this time also to all my friends who sent those photos, those beautiful photos of their hands. A lot of women all over the world sharing their hands and feeling sufficient in these ways. And um, we're just going to begin by singing together and um, you may want to start with your mic off or you're welcome to turn your mic on most most people need a few times just me going kind of slow with it and singing along with your mic off and then we'll get to the point where we all sing together and also um, think about our salagi way of singing you know, that we are not the altogether singing people. We are the sing frequency vibration, sing one word, sing one line, sing whatever you sing, just join in the harmony and the coming together, the integration. This is how we integrate in our native ways and the Jungian depth psychology ways also. We integrate by coming together 
and sound, sometimes just humming and weaving and wandering and harmonizing, coming into harmony with each other. That's the step beyond the entrainment that we did first. Hearts and minds and now voices and integration of our native ways beyond appropriation. This is how we go beyond appropriation by bringing our experiences back into community like this and sharing them in these ways. And I'll, I'll open up for a little bit of that in between the songs too. Be thinking about experiences you may have had from being here and learning songs previously and, and how you might want to bring those things into the um, community that we have going on here. To, to integrate and deepen into our native traditions that we share with these songs that come to me from my ancestors, my Saligi Woodlands people, in traditional ways where the songs come in the dream time to help us all heal. So that's what we're doing. And when you learn these songs and you sing them back to me, then you have completed the traditional course for carrying the song. And that means you can take the song out into the world and sing it and give credit to how it came through the dream time. And when you sing it back to me, we both know you've got it. You've got the teachings that go along with it. You've got the whole experience. And this is our tradition of carrying songs from the dream time out into the world. So I will um, take, take you through the first slow singing of the song. Sing with me, uh, probably with mics off so that everybody can hear well. And then we'll sing it a couple more times. We'll share some experiences. And um, then we'll sing it all together. So sing it with me. I'm going to... I'm actually, I'm going to drum so you can see the drum rhythm. I don't want to turn on original sound because it it doesn't always um, work real well. You never know quite what, what might happen with the original sound. So you can see the drum beat and hopefully follow along a little bit. Maybe you can hear it a little bit. Days from women's hands. Who know they are sufficient days from women's hands? Who know they are sufficient until the bees, until the birds, until the bucks. Unite with us, tears from women's hands. Who know they are sufficient? And nourishing and nurturing. And holding and loving days from women's hands. They see us that's a new life bringers, joyful, soulful, beautiful singers. Taste the love that always lingers on the tips of tongues and fingers. Taste from women's hands who know they are sufficient. No way we are free. Knowing how to be, 
doing ourselves, doing another. We know they are sufficient. Sufficient in the things that matter, leading nothing in better. Sufficient even as world shadows, especially lifting up each other. Ladies from women's hands who know they are sufficient. Until the rain. Until the birds, until the bugs unite with our skates from women's hands, unite with us, unite with us, unite with it. So we are sufficient. Okay, any questions at this point? I will turn on original sound and give that a try in our next round, especially if, if you are all ready to open your mics and sing with me a little bit. But do we have any questions on the, the meaning or the words? This is a very deep song, and I was honored to sing it at, at, as the final song in 22 Women's Prayers from Palenque around the... Um, sacred eighth fire that they were gathering in the opportunity held there for indigenous and ally led union stepping into the um the eighth fire prophecy of the anishinaabe people and um any questions before we sing again I must say, it's got this beautiful splashing sound frequency to it. And um, it, it reverbed that lovely video that Shonda showed, you know, in the corroboree, when you had the peoples, the um, Aborigines with the children, and they got into the waters and it was saying that your hands, don't they, they, they send a message to the water. And that really caught me. And you've just re-evoked that feeling I had when I watched those children splashing the water. It's a similar kind of frequency, very light and, and bright and happy frequency. Yes, thank you, Ursula. You know, I, I think I had a life jacket before I had shoes when I was a child and I would, I would just bob around in my life jacket and pat the water like this, like my drum, it was my drum at that time. And it was a very joyful, beautiful experience. Any other um, questions or experiences to share about the words or the images or anything in the song? Okay, are we ready to sing it again with the original sound on? Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, Brent. Okay, here we go. Are you guys going to open up and sing? I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Open up and sing if you want to. Keep your mind closed if you want to. Let's see how this original sound works. Who know no, we are sufficient Take from women's hands Who know they are sufficient Until the peace Until the peace 
Until the bugs. the frequency the sound healing of what we're doing here today and i don't i don't know brent if you have anything from your nature path training about sound healing that you'd like to share with us but you're welcome to if you would please yeah this is the week before astarte the celebration of the divine feminine from the Earth Mother Pachamama. We are waving the branches of the palm or the willow in Boise in the cottonwood. As the rivers flow in springtime, the snows melt, the rains fall, the torrent to the sea is renewed, cleansing and purifying the waters and the land and feeding the people. From the Nimi Numi, the first people of the Columbia River Basin, named after he who should not be named for what he did to the people. Let it be the Red River, 
where the salmon swim and spawn and feed the people. And let us know that we are free knowing and are blessed by the taste of women's hands cooking and feeding us. For it's women's hands, their touch, their taste, that gives a man courage, providing strength to engage in jihad, holy sacred action, with angels, jinn, and self. Arai Shambhala, activists, use the sound of your voice and the drumming of your feet upon the earth. Now is the time foreseen by the ancient shamans, the medicine men and women of the ancient ways on Turtle Island. We are all Shambhala activists who with our song, who with our lives, who with our deaths will heal the planet until phoenix-like from our ashes rebirth. Thank you so much, Brand. That is very beautiful and very balancing. It is wonderful to have masculine and feminine as equal cohorts, moment by moment, being present to each opportunity that arises. Yeah. May I share a song? Sure. So as I understand from my teachers, 500 years ago, as Columbus crossed the sea, the medicine people, the men and the women had visions of 500, cent 500 years, five centuries of oppression and trouble, which would, which would divide the people and the North and the South hemisphere of what is called these Americas, so this song speaks to that. It's brief. Condors and eagles. Condor is the, the feminine from the south. The eagle is the masculine from the north. Condors and eagles soaring up above. When will we see heaven go? Peace on earth, mercy like a mother's mind, life and humans reconciled. Indigenous wisdom shall lead the way ancient visions fulfill today with the taste of a woman's hands who knows that they are sufficient thank you mm -hmm. thank you ben. thank you okay let's Join our voices again. Gail, uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know if it's true for others, but the original sound mode was, for me, it was much harder to hear you than the previous okay. mode. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Let's keep it like this then and sing it together. I think we'll still be able to hear everyone who wants to unmute. You're welcome to. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Day 
from women who know Shonda. We saw a few things over the weekend we didn't really want to see. So, uh, you no. know, <clears throat> I've, a little more careful. Yeah, I've seen it. Go ahead. I've got it. Okay. okay. Any any questions or uh Anyone who, who might want to share their experience of learning these songs or carrying these songs or of being with these songs in any way, like Stephanie or anyone who would like to share their experiences and the integration that comes with that. David has his hand up. I'm going to unmute him yeah, just to see if up. to see if he's going to actually be able to stay with us here. Go ahead, David. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, indeed. Yes, hello. Yes, um, my experience with this music is ever since I was a young boy, my father introduced me to it. I've just, whew, well, you could say I've just been in love ever since. But yes, I've. it's very deep in my heart and I do love it. Thank you. 
Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Anyone else want to share experience related to the song? Speak. Can you I'd like to say thank you and for allowing me to share this with you as well. It's unexpected and sweet and joyful. Appreciate it very much. She's studying cultural anthropology, imagine. At BSU, <laughs> which is a real trick. <laughs> she has homework, so she's busy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, also, I'm also a person. <laughs> I'm constantly struggling against the... Um, the anti any any personal beliefs. <laughs> she also has rheumatoid arthritis. Pain in her hands. Oh yeah. But she's a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> and and she even something. does the dishes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So does he. That's good. Yeah, share that one. Okay, Stephanie, I, I see your hand. Would you like to share with us? And Jean is not able to unmute. Shonda, maybe. Yes, I have the room locked for a few minutes. Thank I you. Will un I will unmute you. Please just wave at the camera. I'm watching everyone. <laughs> I'm really touched. Um, the song affirming that women are sufficient, which extends to men too, um, because the it's the dominant um, course is that people don't feel that they're sufficient. And so in a sense, um, the song really establishes a, a knowingness. And I'm so grateful for that, to have that song to, you know, to affirm that we are sufficient. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Ursula. Yes, it's on the same note um, that I was feeling that aspect of we are sufficient as human beings. And it's very much what, um, you know, um, Patricia, Sister Patricia was saying during the um, fire ceremony in Palenque. And um, she was speaking about it's always we're born with all these codings that live inside us. So it's not a matter of becoming something. You know, it's a matter of opening oneself up to the frequencies that are in there already. Um, yeah, so already we are sufficient in what created us has planted everything that's needed for our lives to be whole. And I think that was the big signal that I got from Sister Patricia, that wholeness is in every single inner life and all we have to do is go with the flow of it and use our conscience to allow us to be moved or not. Because that's what I find with conscience. It's like that, I call it in the masculine world, I call it the knowing, the hunch that men have got. They've got a hunch that something's not right or something works. But with us females and us divine feminine, we tend to get the intuition that tells us, but it comes from that emanation of the spirit, which we both share, which is the conscience, you know. So, yeah, so you've just linked me back into that. It was a lovely moment that Sister Patricia spoke of. Thank you, Ursula. Lisa, come on in. Hi, yes, and I, I would just like to, to pick up that feather right in the direction it was headed and just the reaffirming that we are sufficient i love how in the song regardless to what the climate is you know whether we're we're lifting each other up or or our worlds are shattering it doesn't change our sufficiency and in times where i know for me personally i struggle with those feelings of or concerns of being enough it reminds us that we are sufficient. And like Ursula said, you know, we already have it within us. It's there. It's inherent. We're, it's our birthright. We are enough and we are sufficient. And how much beauty that a woman's hands do give and create and offer in this world. And it is a, a delicate balance with the masculine and the feminine. And But there's so much that a woman's hands carry and so much that they offer. And I just think the song is beautiful. And to make mention of the song that you shared with us the last time that I sang with you, um, 
All I can remember is my Saliki baby. But I can tell you that I've, I've carried it with me, and it's been in my heart ever since you taught me that song. So even though I don't know all the words, it's still in my heart, and I, I feel like this one's going to be the same way. And thank you for reminding us that we are sufficient and allowing me to share. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Come on in, Brother David. Yes, um, so I, I would just like to uh, quickly say something. Is that okay? Yes. I thought so, and he's gone. <laughs> I never trusted the energy. So now we will unlock the room. Um, any co-host, please allow me to handle the waiting room. Thank you. You should be able to unmute yourselves now. Okay, thank you, Shonda, for taking care of protecting our space. And and Brother Thomas has arrived. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, and Thomas, I asked him to share his blessing song that he shared with us um, whatever day that was last week when we were coming out of Palenque. There was a beautiful... Uh, blessing song that that Thomas shared from his land and and now he's here to um share that blessing song again and uh is it a good time for you to do that Thomas or should we sing a little more yeah, and then said unmute so am I talking yes you, you are, are brother. come yeah, on in we can hear you <laughs> okay um yeah, so the song I shared the other day was a, a real ancient song. It's a song of good things to come. So it's a blessing song. Um, I guess I could try to do that. I don't know tune up on my voice right now, but go for it. A cool one, a cool one, my way. 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 A cool one, a cool one, a cool one, a cool one, my way. 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 There you go. Thank you. And like I said, that's a blessing song. That's for all of you guys that have been involved with the fire and this has been going on with Zoom and connecting. And for people who have been past, present, and future. All right. Uh, and sharing that with you guys and blessings. Mm, thank, thank, you. thank you, brother. Thank you. Right, very job, beautiful song. Yeah, very sweet blessings. Yeah, we feel you. I know you can't see the chat. Maybe somebody said, I feel your energy. Thank you. Very, very sweet for you to come in and share with us in this way. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I just got on here. I was like, what can do some stuff because we had a lot of rain over here uh -huh. and so i lost a lot of paperwork i was looking for one of my eagle feathers and it's mm. gone but i guess the rodents must have ate it but i did oh. find the paperwork on the horse with the bill of sale it's mm -hmm. mostly used up, but at least i have something that shows so mm -hmm. that's good yeah are you there on the land you said it's raining you can't show us the animals and what they're doing today Oh, I can tell you right now because they're like over here close by. I don't know how good it's gonna work, but um, I want to let you guys know you're welcome to adopt any of the white deer or um, anyone you know called to visit. Thomas. First of all, I guess I turn this on. This is the pigs. Hi, baby. <laughs> Three little pigs. Three little pigs. Oh my I god, this is so cute. 
they are. They are. Thomas is um, near um, Bakersfield, California, outside yeah, of LA. She sees deer coming. Yeah, there comes a deer. They're happy to see us and sing with us today, too. Aren't they beautiful? And you're welcome. You're all welcome to send them some food, adopt a deer, go out and visit them and pet them and send them love and help Thomas support these rescued animals. Those deer, sad to say, would have been eaten if he hadn't taken them onto his land and taken care of them for these three or four years that he's Aww. been doing this and continues to do this. And and needs support. He needs our support in doing this because this is not easy work. So please, yeah, there's the link to help support Thomas. And, and he's going to also put the name of their food in um, somewhere when we get a chance so that you can call up Tractor Supply and send them a bag of food <laughs> anytime you get the urge or... Uh, Go out and visit, you know, adopt a deer, adopt a okay, beautiful. piglet. <laughs> yes, they are. And that's a beautiful place that Thomas has out there. And Ari goes out and helps with his fire. And he's one of our fire keepers in the eighth fire continuum. And we're just happy to all be here as family, be here together. Let's sing to the animals. Let's sing this women's hands song to the animals and see if they'll sing along. I'd love to hear those. Uh, I want to say something before you say okay. something. Go to the song earlier. Yeah. You guys were talking mm -hmm. about uh, the, probably the energy from males. They have their hunch, and the, the women have intuition. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been over thirty years ago now that I know that UC Berkeley up in Northern California. Did a study in a proven fact that women's intuition is real, very real. It's not you no know, hokey pokey stuff. So mm -hmm. just to let all of you guys know that that has been proven mm -hmm. scientifically. So, yeah, you know, thank you. Too. All of you have it. You have to trust mm -hmm. in that. You have to. One reason problems happen is because we're second guessing. Or you women second guess it. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. But that's proven that that's one of the powers. It's a natural power that you have, that every one of you has. So nobody can take that away. Right. And the men right. have it. Men yeah. have it as well. Men have those gut feelings. I don't know feelings. about that. I haven't heard nothing on truth. <laughs> well, the army yeah, came to when they took our. Yet. They took our native trackers, our best trackers, and when they cut they, their hair, they lost the ability to track that yeah, they had held. I so got, had to cut my hair because my mom. My, my mom got dementia, so we we're having mm. to deal with that. So I'm partially in mourning for her. Mm, yeah. Well, I must say, Tom, Brother Thomas, I really felt the light-heartedness of your blessing. It was really lovely to receive that. Thank you. Just be open for the blessings when they come to you. <laughs> Don't yeah. turn them away. That's all uh -huh. yes. mm -hmm. Okay, right. we want to sing our song to the animals, and we're about to end our hour at, at this point. I do want to, before we move forward, sister, I do want to emphasize something that Dana brought to our attention. All the, uh, life has intuitional force. It is just women may be a little fine-tuned to intuition because we can access both hemispheres simultaneously. So that is, a, uh, it, is a, it is important to fine-tune your spiritual gifts and that is one of them but uh men have mm -hmm. intuition just as uh, just as much as of the all of us um even the uh, even the animal kingdom has intuition that's why they know to run before the fire gets there yeah equal cohorts all the way around let's walk as equal cohorts in the circle where no one is above or below in front or behind we are all spiraling together. 
And let's sing this song to the to the animals there with Thomas and together with each other. One more time. Okay. Okay. Taste from women's hands who know they are. Taste from women's hands who know until the bees, until the birds. Until you unite with us from women's, women's hands, who know they are sufficient and nurturing and. sister thank you oh, thank you all for coming together it is the women that build relationship and bring us all together until the bees the birds the bucks unite with us until we are all one united by this eighth fire thank you all so much for being here and we do this every other week so we'll see you again in two weeks Next week, we'll see you on Tuesday, Dancing Transformation Dances at 4.30, hopefully. So happy to share with all of you in these wonderful ways. Much love and gratitude. Until Hello. again. Thank you, sister. And as tradition in the gathering, when we close our recordings, we say thank you to the energy in the room. And we thank Grand Ruler Gal. And we thank women who are sufficient. Oh. Uh-huh.